Order. I give the call to the member for Hunter. Thank you, Mr Speaker. My question is to the Minister for Housing. What is the Albanese Labor government doing to improve the housing affordability challenges confronting Australia? I give the call to the Minister for Small Business, Housing and Homelessness. Thank you, Mr Speaker, and I want to thank the member for Hunter. I know that he's very engaged in making sure that more of his constituents have a safe and affordable place to call home. Because, of course, those of us on this side of the House, and I'm sure some on the other side, Mr Speaker, understand that safe and affordable housing is central to the security and dignity of all Australians. Also aware, of course, that uh, rising interest rates and costs and supply issues have impacted on housing affordability right across the country. Indeed, far too many Australians are being hit by increasing rents. Far too many Australians are struggling to afford to be able to buy a home. And sadly, far too many Australians are at risk of experiencing homelessness or are experiencing homelessness. Indeed, we know that there's no quick solutions, but that's why our government has hit the ground running to deliver on our ambitious housing reform agenda with immediate action alongside our medium and long-term goals. Indeed, we've acted very quickly by widening the remit of the National Housing Infrastructure Facility to allow it to invest in social and affordable housing by unlocking up to $575 million. This support will build on our commitment to build 30,000 new social and affordable housing properties through a $10 billion Housing Australia Future Fund. Indeed, Mr Speaker, we've had two meetings of state and territory housing ministers, and that first meeting was our first in almost five years, because, of course, those on the other side deemed this not necessary. And our second meeting was at the end of the last sitting week. We've also brought Member forward, Petrie. Mr Speaker, the regional first home buyer guarantee to this weekend. So from 1 October, eligible Australians in regional areas will be assisted into home ownership sooner. By helping regional Australians get into their first home with a deposit as little as 5 per cent, Mr Speaker, our commitment will help cut down one of the biggest burdens potential home buyers face and will bring the great Australian dream back into the reach of many. ANZ Core Logic is saying that the average home buyer in regional Australia now has to save for over 11 years for a deposit to get into the current housing market. We need to make it easier for those people who want to be able to live and work in our regions. And we know, of course, that more Australians are also having trouble with rent because they've been able to buy their own home and that these measures will help ease pressures for those trying to find a, market, a home in the tight rental market. We're also, of course, going to introduce our National Supply and Affordability Council to ensure that the Commonwealth plays a leadership role in increasing housing supply and improving affordability. We've hit the ground running, as I've said. We want to bring new national leadership to housing. We want to get more homes on the ground sooner for more Australians to have a safe and affordable place to call home. And of course, given over the weekend the opposition over there confirmed that they don't have any policies, uh, I look forward to their support for delivering on our ambitious agenda Order. so that more Order Australians have a safe place to call home.